Welcome to the vlog. Welcome back. You better watch the whole thing. Cody woke up on the correct side of the bed this morning. Bow! Bow! your head if you don't press the like button right now. <laughs> Boo! Hey, it's me. Um, hopefully I didn't scare you too bad, but I just wanted to give a shout out to the sponsor of this vlog, which is BetterHelp. So thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what BetterHelp is, their mission is to make professional counseling accessible, affordable, and convenient so anyone can get help anytime any place. I don't know about you guys, lately I have been feeling like just, like I have no routine and I've just been kind of like doubting all of my creative ideas and kind of like second guessing myself being a little bit like imposter syndrome. So if you feel like there's something interfering with your happiness or you feel like you're having a hard time achieving your goals, you can just log on to BetterHelp, answer some questions, and they're gonna assess your needs and they're gonna match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Which, by the way, there's a network of like over 20,000 therapists on there, so anything's covered, you'll find the right person for you. Once you find your right person, you can start communicating within like 48 hours, and you can just log into your account and send a message to your therapist anytime. Plus, you can set up like a weekly, phone call or video call. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional online therapy, plus there's financial aid available. And I just think it's really important to talk to someone and get help when you need it. You guys should try it out. You can click the link in my description or visit betterhelp.com slash Kelsey Kreppel. That's better H-E-L-P. And join the over two million people that are taking charge of their mental health with the help of a experienced professional. Thanks to BetterHelp. Highly recommend you guys. There's no harm in talking to someone and getting the help that you feel like you need. Or just, just to figure out the day-to-day -day life bullshit. It's very helpful. So thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into the vlog. Yeah, hey, what's up? Welcome to the video. Today is gonna be a fun and exciting vlog as always. What are you gonna do? I don't know. There's a lot of fun stuff happening. Like what? I can't think of a single thing, but I know it's gonna be fun. I'm about to hit the Peloton, so. That's gonna be me in a second. <laughs> <laughs> we have lunch with Emma today. We do. Um, I just walked up the stairs, which is why I'm out of breath. So I did tell you guys that I was gonna go to lunch with Emma today, and it's pouring rain out and it's terrifying out. So we're just FaceTiming instead. There she is. This is not sponsored at all, but Saqqara sent me like a bunch of meals and this is their breakfast and it's 11 a.m. So I should have probably eaten this like three hours ago when I woke up. Banana bread. Oh my God. Is it good? Yeah, banana protein bread. All of it's like plant-based and like really good for you. So I was kind of scared to try it. I'm just like little berries. Holy shit. Honestly, I don't like banana bread. I was not excited to try this at all, but this is fucking good. So I FaceTimed with Emma for a long time, did some work, and now I'm getting ready. I'm gonna film the fashion review for the Oscars, and I wanna show you guys. I got this face little sculptor or massager thing. I got this one from Nurse Jamie. I do love this. Rolling, and it feels really good. Kinda like the ice roller. Roll the tool under chin from ear to ear. This is not doing anything, is it? And then this one. It looks like a dick and balls. And I didn't realize that when I first got it until I brought it home and Cody thought it was a dildo. Now this I'm confused by because it like squeezes your face, okay? It like pulls on your skin. It feels pretty good though. It's like pulling my face like that. I don't know when I got these. I was bored one day. But it feels kind of nice. I don't know, I mainly just thought it was funny that this looked like a little pee-pee. I have to wipe the balls to keep them fresh and clean. These words are my own from my heart flow. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. It's so crazy the effort I go into to make it look like I didn't try to do my hair. A lot of times, if I just pin it up like this, it just looks natural. It's fine, it'll do. Now let's eat lunch. No. Oh no. Oops. 
Half of it's on the fucking counter, so awesome. Should I try to like scoop it in? <laughs> How come I can never do this properly? I'll try to make a cute little matcha montage for lunch. Just like vanilla almond milk. Can't taste any matcha. No, that's a stupid idea. We'll try again tomorrow. It actually is pretty good, honestly. Maybe the best one I've made thus far. So for lunch, sesame citrus glow salad with carrot, ginger, and vinaigrette. I'm excited. I love a salad. So I'm gonna dump this in here. There's like nuts, cucumber, broccoli. There's avocado, it's kind of brown that I'm trying to pretend like that doesn't freak me out. Little citrus salad, you really love to see it. Are these water chestnuts? You guys, I fucking love water chestnuts. I, I really do like the idea of this though because it's really hard for me to eat three meals a day. For some reason, I just, just get so damn lazy. Oh my God, yum. So what I like to do is I put most of the dressing on. This is just with salads in general. Mix it up. And then top it off with the rest of the dressing. I don't know why. Little crunchies. These are really good guys. Like truly, this is like, I just thought it'd be fun to try together, even if it sucked. gonna be getting Sakara again. I mean, we'll see how the rest of the days go. We've tried other ones like meal services and they just start to get like fucking gross after a while. But this is already like tastes like real food. I don't know, there's something about the other ones that we've tried that like, just because we get lazy and we don't cook and stuff. We always enjoy cooking, but we just get too lazy. Anyway. Hi, it's the next day. This is my first time vlogging in my new car, I think. There's like a perfect little stand for you guys. Chili and I are in the car, if you can see him. We are going to lunch and I'm fucking running late as always and I am so mad at myself when I do this and I always fucking do it. I'm going to lunch, I am meeting a new friend at lunch and I'm excited. Her name is Keaton, Keaton Milburn. She makes YouTube videos also. I talked about her a long time ago because she makes the brand, oh my God, my camera's bouncing around. She makes a brand, Twin Flames and I always wear their sweats and sweatshirts and like they're seriously so comfortable and like my favorite thing to wear. So we met because she sent me some stuff and now we're grabbing lunch because she moved to LA. And I'm kind of nervous because I always get a little bit nervous talking to new people because I'm like, what am I gonna talk about? But it's really gonna be fine because I've met her before and she's super nice and it's all good. And I'm bringing Julie because I was having a really hard time leaving him. Like he was fine, he was like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. But I was like, I don't think I could do it without him. Well, no, that's not true. I could do it without him. But I was like, I feel weird leaving him. Like I felt bad leaving him for some reason and he didn't give a fuck. But I was like, no, I feel like he should be with me just in case. Just in case what? I don't know. But I just felt like we should stick together on this one. So we are. Um, this is what happens when I get a little like anxious, a little nervous. The brain starts just kind of going insane and I can't really calm it down. So here we are, this is my outfit. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Like this shirt is really cool I think. It's from Birthday Girl. I remember I, got, I showed you guys on my last <clears throat> vlog. I really like it, but every time I wear something new I'm like, this is weird. And then I wear it once and then I can't stop wearing it, so. My voice is kind of raspy, yeah, thanks for asking by the way. <clears throat> a little bit raspy, super hot and sexy. <laughs> Hi, no surprise, lunch with Keaton was great. She's so cool and it was really fun and chill and the food was really good. Mm. What did you just eat? Emily Mariko salmon bowl. Cody is still addicted to the Emily Mariko salmon bowl. It's my favorite meal. I think that will be my death row meal, honestly. <laughs> so I didn't eat the Saqqara obviously today. The dinner last night was so good, but today I had John and Vinny's so I'm eating the lunch right now. Oh, that looks fun. Fire. Yeah, it's a Italian top salad, my favorite kind of salad to eat. 
is an Italian chopped salad. And they also have these like basil swirls <laughs> that are like these little like muffins. Let's dump a room ski. Look at all these fresh veggies and stuff. Look at these. Basil swirls. Italian chopped salads are literally my favorite. When I saw this in the fucking meal, I was like, damn, this is, this is a little trick, okay? So my family every year for Christmas eats antipasta, antipasta, and we have pepperoncinis. And what I do is I bite the edge off and I dump. Oh, there's no juice in this one. Usually they're like kind of juicy, so I dump all the juice out onto my food. That's your pepperoncini hack of the day. Oh my god, this is like the salad of my dreams. Olives and some dressing. What kind of dressing is that? What's going on there? Did it like coagulate? <laughs> is it like that? That's mashed potatoes, that's not dressing. That makes me feel a little bit sick. Can no, you? it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, beware, dressing is hard as fuck. I just uh, mixed it up in a bowl. Got the juices flowing a little bit and it's better now. Mix. Let's try one of these. Mmm, they're good. Yum. Okay, we're gonna keep watching. We were watching the movie, The Worst Person in the World. Good morning, it's Thursday. Um, I didn't film yesterday. We had a pretty normal day, and then we went to the like Revolve house at night, and I wore a really cute outfit, and this is my outfit that I wore. And now today is Thursday, and we have another fun day. I have some work I have to do. And then we're going to see Tyler, the Creator tonight, which will be fun, and I just ordered a bagel because I was really craving a bagel. Tomato, onion, caper, cucumber. Yummy. There's so much cream cheese. I ordered a package. I ordered clothes off this website. I think the store is in France, but I paid for it. And I just thought it would show up. And now I owe $400 in like customs fees. Oh, is it stupid of me to think that I wouldn't need to do that? I have no idea how to do that. Good morning. Good morning. Look who it is. It's me and Ems in the car. You can't really see us because the lighting is so bad right now. Um, So it's us. And it's Kelsey and Emma, if you can't tell, because the lighting's so bad. If you can't tell by our lips. <laughs> and guess what? We are working together today! Woo so I don't know if we've ever mentioned this, but Emma and I, we've always talked about this, we went to college together and we were both child development majors. And when I graduated, I got a job at the school that I still am at. And Emma was still in school. And then she started working there when she, or actually when she was still at school, she started working there. And now we just both sub there for fun. And today we happen to be in the same class. Yes, and today my boss, like, she didn't need me in the office, but she needed me to sub, and so she put me and Emma in the same room. And so now we're carpooling to work. Tyler, the creator, last night was very fun. He was so fucking good. Seriously. Like... I don't know what I was expecting. I always have liked him, but I don't really know his music that well. But it was seriously, like, phenomenal. I'm kind of a stan, honestly. And I bought merch. <laughs> I've never bought merch at a concert before, and I marched up to the tent and said, one sweatshirt, please. We're gonna go work, and I'm obviously not gonna film while we're at work because I would get sued. We're at El Pollo Loco. You guys know I love El Pollo Loco, and this is actually, and I told you about how this is, like, the only thing I could afford to eat back in the day, or like kind of like my splurge meal. And now we're back at the same one that I used to go to and I'm so happy to be here. And subbing was great. It was okay, kind of lame. Cheers. Well, we did it. We got our burritos. After a hard day of work. After a hard day of work, God's greatest gift on earth was a BRC. And these are not, these are man-made. But God made man. But God made man. And God's greatest gift to all of us is a man who makes piercing. Is a woman who makes piercing. Right. I don't want men making my BRCs for me. No. Like, I feel like it's such a girl's job to, like, make a good BRC because we know what we want. Uh huh. I don't want a fucking man being like, no. <laughs> you, yeah. You know? I want a girl to be like, oh my god, yes, bitch, you want a BRC? But at the same time, I want a man to work for me. To be like, yes, queen. We're driving. For a long time. For so long. 49 more minutes, and then I'll be able to charge my camera. Burrito closing the scene transition. 
Oh my god, the lighting. 